Be wary of pedestals of your own making. Our scripture reading today comes to us from the letter of 1 Peter, the book of 1 Peter, chapter 5, verses 6 and 7. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that he may exalt you in due time. Cast all your anxieties on him, because he cares for you. First Peter is probably not written by Peter, but let's talk about humility. Just before this verse, he talks about putting on humility. Now, what does putting on humility look like? What kind of clothing is it? Is, is, it, a, is it a particular cut, a particular brand of clothing? It seems like with lots of things, with gifts of a devoted life, to Christ, that they can't be done by ourselves. That more often than not, the self gets in the way of the other gifts. And when it does, our ego, our will, then it's impossible to do. You find yourself saying, saying the awkward phrases to, uh, look how humble I am which is silly that more often than not, the spiritual gifts either are or are not. It's not a case of you can make them or fake it till you make it. And we live in a world saturated by do it yourself. My entire store is dedicated. You don't need anybody. You are your own person. Pull yourself up by the bootstraps. But Peter's word is to be humble and God will exalt you in due time. But don't really get all worked up about your place in society, but rather be more concerned about your place in God's kingdom. Goes on to mention anxieties. Now, anxieties cause a lot of problems, but I've never seen them actually solve one. More often than not, our anxieties are fears that never actually come to pass. More often than not, it's worry. Worry that, as Jesus says in Gospel Matthew, doesn't add an, an hour to your life or anything else for that matter. God knows what you need. God knows your fears. Cast your fears upon God, and he will see them through. I'm fairly confident that your worries of last week aren't your worries of this week. Humility calls us to never think too much of ourselves because when we think or believe too much of ourselves, we push everything and everyone out of the way. We are always better when the tide rises beneath us, not when we ride on the waves. Because more often than not, we can slip or fall. And certainly climbing a pedestal, how many of us have encountered the story of someone who rose quickly and above and was well-regarded, but had all kinds of problems, personal problems that caught up with him or her, that the lives they made of themselves to feed the ego eventually caught up with them. So, Humility is something to be warned. Humility is something to say, I am of importance, but not the important. I have dignity, but I also share that dignity with others. Let us pray. God, I need you. I cannot keep pretending that I have my life together. 
because I don't. You alone are able to help and sustain me. You alone are able to give me the strength I need to get through the day. Today, please show me that you are in control, and that you are enough for me. In Jesus' name, amen. Blessings to you and yours this day and always. Goodbye.